well, 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 we said last episode, it's going to be a busy, busy January transfer window for us. And my God, it has been loads of ins, loads of outs. Let's get straight to it. Yes, hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Warsaw FC. We said last time out about the transfer, there's going to be a lot happening this January and it's been a busy old month. One game left of the window before it closes against Crystal Palace today in the FA Cup as well. So we get straight into that, straight into the results prior to this game. But firstly, if you're enjoying this series, as always, hit that subscribe button and make sure you give that video a big, big thumbs up. It does really help the channel so, so much, more than you can ever understand. But yeah, there's been three ins. Sorry, not, ignore that. There's been three outs even and five ins. Five players coming in in January. I'm not even done yet. There's still a few days to go. More to come out on the next episode though. Hopefully if they come in. But yeah, firstly, let's get into the outs. Josh Gordon leaves the club after being a top goal scorer back in League 2. Doing wonders in League 1 for us. Helping us get to the Championship. It just hasn't been good enough in the Championship for us. So. Out he goes on low, gets some first team football for the rest of the season. After Carlisle. So best of luck to Josh Gordon. Hope he does well there. Next up, Ike Pozo. We took out that free transfer at the start of the season. Just isn't at the level yet to play first team football for us. Isn't good enough for the championship. Season on loan to MK Dons for the rest of the season. Hoping to get some first team football and see what happens with him. If he develops any more, who knows. And Sam Perry, we did recall him. He wasn't playing enough football, so he's gone back out on loan to Sutton United. Hoping he can get a bit more first team football. Ideally in the centre midfield role, but we'll see what happens there. Fingers crossed for him. But yeah, into the ins. First off, free transfer, Joe Clarkson, goalkeeper. We need a number two goalkeeper at 18. This guy's got a lot of potential. He can definitely develop to be a lot better than what he is right now. So we're hopeful of Joe Clarkson's development in the future for Warsaw and hopefully a possible number one keeper for the future. Next up, 33-year-old Jordan Rose. We said we need a striker. We need someone who can finish that ball. This guy can do it. Jordan Rose has been a clinical striker in the championship for many years in the past. I mean, he's past his best now, age 33, but we thought, why not? He's been playing in America for the last year and a half, so we thought, we'll bring him back over to the UK, see how he gets on. Very much a backup striker, but someone who can come off the bench and can finish shots. Let's see how Jordan gets on this season. Welcome in, Jordan Rhodes. Next up, we went to Aston Villa. Local rivals, took two loanies from them. First off, Chukamenka, I think that's how it's pronounced, I'm not so sure. The 20 year old Englishman comes on loan from Villa for the season, looks very good for the championship level. Some great mentors, great ability around the whole pitch, but looks a bit so. Uh, we're sadly gets on for the rest of the season. Hopefully, Carney can get involved and add a depth at midfield and hopefully strengthen it up and try and create some stuff. And along with him, Jacob Ramsey comes in. I wanted someone else to play that camera. I did as a shadow striker. This guy's got enough pace about him, he can finish a ball. I'm hoping Ramsey can get involved with the goals and do some business for us in the championship this season. Fingers crossed. And finally, the most recent one, Joe Hugo, another striker's came in. So we have been looking ideally striker-wise because I felt like we didn't have a striker, basically. We've been playing a lot of wingers and cam-type players. In that striker role, trying to find someone to get goals. So Hugo comes in, 20-year-old, looks fairly okay. I don't know how he's going to do in terms of goals for us this season but he's gonna come in we're trying out for the season he ain't costing him much only just over six thousand on his wages so uh, and we're not paying the full amount of his wages so fingers crossed Hugo can come in and be that all-important goal scorer that we need he him and Rhodes we're hoping for a lot out of both of them we've got a few other ones we're looking at as well there might still be some else that comes in and a few outs before that window closes in a few days time so we'll see what happens but as for today Crystal Palace in the FA Cup but before that Results, results, results. Last time that you saw us, that Birmingham City 1-1 draw. I mean, it's been a bit of a hit and miss run since then. A few wins, a few losses. No more draws, though, so the draws have gone at least. But, I mean, we went straight into that Watford game then, away from home, and got absolutely battered. Goals from Pochettino, Whitaker, Frangitore, and Gordon put us to bed. We were never in it at all. We had, like, the possession weren't too bad, but it was, I mean, just not getting shots up, we just not scoring. We mentioned before, this lot up here just can't do anything. This is why the reinforcements have been rushed in during the January Pancho window. But yeah, we went to Barnsley next. Well, they came to us more so, if anything. Goals from Taylor, Pinas, and Hodgeworth. Saw us out with this one, 3-1 victory. Again, these guys can score, but 
they're not doing it to the bigger teams where the problems are lying now and we're just losing so many points defensively solid again which is great to see Ken like even playing a center back for a change that worked really well for us can start off in the right back as well so we've been messing around trying a few players in different roles it's definitely been working for us and then the fa cup third round against norwich again we're kind of convinced we weren't going to go through one honestly but Luckily, goals from McDonald and Pena saw us go through, and a late one from Zach Clough. He missed a penalty and scored straight afterwards. Uh, good for Zach, good for us. Into the next round of the FA Cup, which leads us to today against Palace. Before that, oh, Derby, Derby County. A 1 0 defeat against Derby. Ivan Tony with the penalty. Again, it's, we, we come from these games, we do really well. We get into these games, and then other games are just completely abandoned. Nothing happened for us, and absolutely poor. Poor showing from the lads. Nothing from it. And then again, Sam against Hull this time out. 2-0 defeat against Hull. Goals from Lewis Potter and Barnes. Actually, Barnes again scoring against us. Hugo made his debut. Didn't really do much. Ramsey. Tricky Menka. Like, they're in the squad and just no really impact in these games. So we're hoping for a lot better. But since that one, we have played Swansea and got another three points on the board, thankfully. Early goal from Ballard. And Tricky Menka got his first goal on loan from Aston Villa. Getting involved in the goal. Ramsey got a good rating as well. So it's good to see these new boys get involved. Hopefully, with today's formation and players, we can get a lot more out of them, as we see now against Crystal Palace. So... As for the Palace game, this is how I line up. Manny and Nett, Norman, Ballard, Baptiste and Kenlock at the back. Tricky Menke and Kinsella in the middle. With Pinas, Ramsey and Adams. Jordan Rhodes is going to start in his first game up front for us today. We're hopeful of Rhodes getting some goal for us. Moore is finally on the men now, so hopefully we can get him some minutes today. He's been really crucial at midfield this season, so I'm hoping to get him back in there, fingers crossed. Bates, Neville, Ineas. I mean, it's a... Very stacked bench for us. We're missing Longstaff, who'd be in Cup Tide. He's a Crystal Palace player right now, so he can't play. But yeah, there's been a few outs from the club, so it'll be interesting to see how we get on today. So here we go then. Palace kick off a massive game against the Premier League club. It's good in terms of financially for the club, that we're playing these big clubs as well. Hopefully, get a bit of good payday out of it, being away from home as well. But again, even more so, if we can get a result against a team like Palace, it'll be absolutely massive. Baptiste, the early header, straight into Everson's arms. Promising sides though, getting the attacks on the go. Hopefully we can build from that and make something happen. I'm not completely out of thinking we're going to lose this, even though they're a Premier League side. I mean, we do play well. So I was in Yang's for on goal and oh. And just so I say that, Mbaye and Yang makes it 1-0 Palace after only two minutes. Jinx on my own luck here. I mean, what is happening here? Raidwald, great ball across the top. Defence just too slow. Nyang smashes it home. Manning got a touch, but just not enough on it. 1-0 Crystal Palace. Free kick now. Ramsey swings it into the box. Baptiste heads it back. Oh, oh, is it the crossbar? Oh, I can't believe he hit the bar. Not bad first chance of the game. I mean, we're not doing too badly in terms of, like, we've had a few shots off now. Keeping the ball well. We're not too bad against Palace here. We just need to convert something. It's raid well now. He finds Mitchell. Nyang gets the ball. Nyang's going to be the important player to watch. He's got a lot of pace about him. He can get behind that defence very well. It's Mitchell now. Tries to find the box. Finds raid well. Dobbin. Good play from Palace here. Dobbin. Oh, off the bar and over. Thankfully, off the bar. Throw in now with Kenlock. He finds Ramsey. In the middle now. The two Villa boys linking up with each other. Tricky Menka. Adams. Good play here. Finds Kinsella. All the way back to Ballard now. The ball's all on the spread the play a bit here. Into Norman. Gordon Rose, Kinsella, Ramsey. Adams is thrown goal. And Joe Adams is the second goal of the club. Good assist from Ramsey as well. Great bit of play from Walsall. It's been coming. We've looked the better team so far. I'm very confident we can get the next goal as well with a play like this. Great play from the lads here as well. Rose dropping deep here. Kinsella finds Ramsey. Killer ball from Ramsey into Adams. Palace one. Walsall one. The throw in now for Palace. Dobbin gets set from there. Niang plays inside the Glazer. All the way across to Ferguson now. It's Palace that slowly build the play up here. It's Everson now. He actually smashes it forward in the end here. Finds Burke. And Dobbin on that far side. Found Niang again. And what a save from Mannion. Big save from Mannion. Keeps in this game here. At the halfway point. I mean, it's been fairly even so far. There's Norman finds Ballard now from a free kick. For Warsaw. Playing it forward now. Tricky Menka. Poor pass from him. Goes straight to Dobbin for Crystal Palace. And he can count on his left-hand side. A lot of room to run into. He drives forward. Cuts inside now. He's still going. Pass another man. <sighs> Luckily, it's a side netting for our sake. It's a very good run. Gotta be careful of those. 
Bala plays out of the Pinyas. Tricky Manka, and Kinsella. Next goal is be very important in this game. If we get the next goal, we can try and drop off a little bit and try and keep hold of it for a bit longer. We've done one possession so far this game. No, I'd not stop it past here or there. Like Tricky Manka's one for that last chance, but it's, apart from that, we've looked decent on the board. Rams gets the ball now. He's looked really good Rams so far this season. And I say that. He's giving the ball away. And Palace are throwing goal. Makati. Oh. Man into the rescue. Calling out for Palace just before half time here. Makati swings into the box. Baptiste head's clear. Drug your on the counter. Got a few bodies forward here, Warsaw. We can get the right pass off here. Drug plays it to Pinas. Oh, versus the guard clears it out. It's going to be a corner for Warsaw. Three minutes to go. Hopefully, a last minute goal before half time. That'd be ideal right now. Norman and swing it into the box. Big ball in. But head's clear and Dobbin now the counter. Palace two on two. Defenders are running back here. Hopefully we can get a tackle. Oh, Chucky Menka. Beautiful challenge from him there. Dobbin still has the ball though. It's not over yet. And again, Ramsey, the two Villa boys doing the business, getting the tackles in. Beautiful stuff. Pinyas. Chucky Menka. Through to Ramsey. Oh, it's a poor, poor effort from him in the end. Probably should have held up for the pass. Free kick to Vestergaard. If finds Railwald. Mitchell. Dobbin. Palace now looking to push forward here. Chucky Menka with the challenge. Still Palace in the attack. Mitchell again on the left hand side, swings into the box now. Makati. Oh, there we go. 2 1 Palace for half time. We've shown positive signs this game, but it's very, very poor here defensively. Not in front of his man here, Baptiste as well. Lets him straight in on goal. Easy volley for him to get in the back of the net. It's a great cross from Mitchell as well. 2 1 Palace. We get to the break. I mean, we're not doing too bad. We've done a better possession. We've had a few shots off. I mean, if we can just find the back of the net, I'd still put us in a good chance of winning this game, to be honest. Might have looked at me doing a little bit of a switch at half time here, trying to mix some things up, see what happens. So, two changes at the break. Rhodes and Kinsella both went off. Rhodes hasn't really done much in front of goals. He's looked all right when passing the ball, but he isn't getting behind their defenders. He's a bit too slow for that. He's more someone to bring on late on to try and get a little tap in. More of a poacher at this point of his career. So, not great from him. More comes on. And if his first game back from his injury, Hopefully he can change the game around as well. We've moved Pinas up front now, and Hodgeworth comes on that right-hand side instead. So Pinas has been known for some goals this season, so hopefully he can do more of that. The Porto Loney needs a few more goals in his game, really. Big ball forward now, and Yang's through. He's behind the defence, and oh, he's made it free. But Bayern Yang, 13th of the season for him. I mean, he's looked quality all game, really. He's poor from Tricky Menke losing the ball to Dobbin here as well. Needs the option to pass too. It's just one massive ball at the top again. Caught out again by a big massive ball. Niang scores. Palace free. Horse all one. Manny now with the goal kick. Give mine's Ballard. We've finished the mentality of attacking here. Like we're 3-1 down. We just go through at this point. Try and pull something back. I mean, I'd rather us get one back and concede free and still lose. And not score at all, you know? There's Ramsey now. Good circle being... Oh, it's a great save though. Good bit of play there from Ramsey. Looking more attacking now. Hopefully, this attacking edge. Can what pushes us over here and try and get us extra few goals here? I mean, there's a lot of time to go. 40 minutes almost to play here, so it's worth going for. It's more now. Good to see him back in the team after his long term injury. Hopefully, he can be a key element in the midfield to help create a lot more. Do a lot more for us. Hodgeworth's thrown goal. He's got one back. Dylan Hodgeworth. Sip goal of the season for him. What a ball that was, by the way. Straight through to him. Watch his switch here again. It's absolutely gorgeous stuff. Adams here. Finds Tricky Menka and he just goes wallop on his left here. Through to Hodgeworth, cuts inside on his left foot. Palace free, Warsaw two, the comeback's on. So the final change now for Warsaw. Hugo's coming up front instead. Hodgeworth moving to that left hand side now. And we pin back to the right hand side. If we add another attacking element up there, just try something else different, see if it works for us. Ramsey now. He finds Tricky Menka into Norman. Oh, he's lost that here, and Dobbin can counter here. He's past his man, and here goes Lobby on this left-hand side, cutting inside now for Palace. Looking to get a four for them, and oh, so close. Very, very lucky to get away with that one. Ken Lobby with the free kick. Oh, straight to Everson in the end. It's on target. It's on target, not too bad, but I mean, we'll be scoring from those situations. We'd be making more of those. Ken Lock now. He finds Hodgeworth. He can cut inside. He finds more. Still driving forward, Tricky Menka. Pinyas has a go. Oh, it's tipped away by Everton just about. Warthock in danger, they are. I wouldn't put it past us to get his equalise at the moment. Norman now swings into the box. Vestergaard with a massive clearance. As Hugo picks it up. 
The highlight ends. Still 3-2 to Palace. Man, you know the goal kick. He plays out to Ballard. We switch things up. Now we've gone for three central cams. All shadow strikers. Moving Hodgeworth and Pinas inside the middle of the pitch now. So a bit more narrow. Hugo, back to Pinas. I don't know why Hugo didn't go himself then. Probably a better situation really. If Ramsey's shot gets cleared away. You see on the screen now what we've actually gone for here. With the three players here. Also the strikers supporting Hugo. Hopefully this bit of extra depth in the middle of the pitch here should add to a goal. I mean we're going to stoppage time right now. He's not looking hopeful, sadly, for Warsaw. It could be the end of our cup run. We've only a minute and a half to go. Kafal finds McAtee. Kinzora. He born to the box. Niang heads it down. And, oh, what a save from Mannion. A minute to go. I don't think there's enough time for an equaliser, sadly. But it's a very good display against Premier League side for Warsaw. I can't complain of how we played, really. We've looked really good. We've been very unlucky, to be honest. As Pinas smashes it forward here. Hugo was going to hold the ball. One last chance. Oh, Mitchell's won it back. The optimism was there, but with 20 seconds to go, you'd think that's all going to be over now, surely. Norman, Ballard, Moore now. One last chance. Hugo's through. Hugo, he's done it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Joe Hugo, his first goal. His Pally's free, also free. The last kick of the game. My word, Joe Hugo might have just kept us our FA Cup dream alive. What a ball, by the way, this is. More here. Oh my god. Piece of beauty. I'm so happy seeing this boy back in the team. Equalizer for Hugo. It's Palace free. Warsaw free. Extra time incoming. I realise I've just said extra time incoming. It's FA Cup. It's definitely going to be a replay, isn't it? Oh god. I mean, if they scored that then. Part of my stomach then. Like, it just sank. It's going to be a replay, surely, isn't it? That's going to be it. Full time. It is going to be a replay against Palace. At home for us as well. So, I mean, as good in terms of the finances, getting a Premier League club to the Bank Stadium is quite a good idea. But, I mean, what a comeback in the end. 3-3 free, free draw. Oh, massive. And Hugo gets his first goal for the club. The transfers have worked. Now it's time to put this form into the league. Thank you so much for watching again. We have been Warsaw FC. I'm Murph. Again, if you're liking this series, subscribe, like the videos, leave some comments down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.